Hi, this is Kristen with the Aurora Public Library, and today we're going to be drawing a pirate ship. So go ahead and get your paper, and to get started, the first thing we're going to do is draw a rectangle, half a rectangle, just like that. Then I want you to divide the bottom in half, kind of make a little mark there, and this side in half too. And now we're going to cut off the side with a little circle, like whoop. Okay, now erase the extra parts. There we go. All right, now we're going to make sort of like a panhandle. We're gonna make a little needle bit right here and then stop. And then we're gonna go in and stop and then diagonal down, kind of like a stair step. Now we're gonna make one little flat line here in the middle, and then stop. And then we're gonna do another diagonal line up, and then stop. And then over, and it's like we're making stairs. So diagonal line, and then over, and then one last diagonal line up, and then over. That was really weird, right? This was the hardest part, it's okay. Now we go down, and then over, and erase the rest. And then we have the shape of our ship. Okay, I get my eraser, there we go. Okay, so now let's make the center mast. So in the center of your ship, we're gonna make one really tall line that goes up and then over and it's kind of skinny. And if it's not straight or if it's a little wobbly, don't worry about it. It's not gonna be that noticeable. It doesn't have to be perfect. All right, so we made another one and this one is shorter than the other one, and then a third one over here, and this one's going to be shorter than the middle one too. All right, there we go. And now we need the crow's nest, because everybody knows that's the coolest part of a ship, is when you can sit and look out at the top. And then we erase the middle, and my, my eraser is really, really big. Just a sec. Okay, I'll have to color this back in. There we go. Okay, so we've got the crow's nest. Now I want you to make a little circle. And then another one. And then another one. These are like the poles that hold the sails up, but since we're looking at it from the side, you can't see them. They don't look very long. They just look really tiny. And then swoop, that's the sail. And swoop, that's the other sail. And then circle, circle, circle. And then swoop. And swoop. And then three more circles over here and same thing. And then we have our sails. All right, next up we need flags. <laughs> Just squiggly little lines. Okay, now we need the ropes. Um, so let's put a line from here to here. And then draw a line from here to here. And then we'll take one from the very front of the boat all the way up to the flag over here. There we go. And then one on the back too. There we go. And let's have a net so they can get up there. So we do one on this side, one on this side, and then we kind of like fill it in with two more. This is going to look kind of like spider webbing. And then line, line, line. And it's something that somebody can climb up. Okay, um, the bottom of our boat looks kind of empty. Let's put a porthole so people can see out. Just circles, circle, circle. Put more circles here. That's good. Okay, um, more detail, the rudder on the ship. Let's just draw a little line so you can see that that part isn't part of the round part. That's how they steer the ship, I think. Let's put a line just for detail. We'll have one little line that goes down the ship. There we go. 
Okay, um, let's do some details here. So, I don't even know what this is. I just looked up reference images of ships, and a lot of them had something that looked kind of like this. So we're doing a simple representation of it for detail. It might have been a place where they tied down ropes, or it could have just been the architecture, but there we go. Just a box and three lines. We can do that. And then let's put some more windows, but these ones we'll make square, just for variety. So square, 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 and this last one's going to run into the wall, but that's okay. Okay, um, and then let's put a line. There we go. And another one at the top. There we go. And more lines. Ooh, and we have to do, okay, under this we're going to do a zigzaggy thing, or a, a boxy thing. Here we go. So these lines are wider, and we're just going to put lines in them. So it looks, it looks kind of messy until you step back, and then you're like, look, now we have details in that area. And that looks cool. Okay, so now that you've made your ship, you have to decide what the background is, where it lives. So for one thing, I suppose we can put some birds in. So let's go ahead and put some little birdies up here at the top. Everybody knows how to make birds. And then, what do you think? Is this a ship of explorers or is it a pirate ship? If you want to make a pirate ship, maybe we should make a pirate flag. Make a little square flag and we'll put... A <laughs> skull and crossbones, really tiny. It's hard to draw a skull that small. Okay, um, do you think if it's in the water, so let's put some water and we can erase the bottom. Those could be portholes for windows to look out, or they could be cannons. It's up to you. So the pirate ship's on the ocean. What's near the ocean? Maybe we should make an island. Let's make an island. And a palm tree. Maybe they're going to find treasure. Or maybe they already found treasure and they're escaping. All right, and let's, let's do a little shark. He's watching them. And he's happy. Why is he happy? Is that good or bad? Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. So yeah, you can have a high seas adventure with this picture. Or... Or, it doesn't have to be on the sea. Let's see if you can guess where this is going to be. We'll have a second start of the right, straight on till morning. Uh, we, we can keep the birds. Hold on. The ship's not going to be in the water. It's going to be in the clouds. This was one of my favorite stories as a kid. Oh, some big clouds in the background because it's it's up there in the clouds if you've ever been on an airplane and you look out the window when you're mid-flight there are big clouds out there and then maybe at the very bottom just barely you can see big ben the giant clock. Okay, that <laughs> looks a little wonky. I'm not sure what Big Ben looks like, but you get the idea. These are some cool things that you can do with your pirate ship. All right, um, so thank you for watching. I would love to see whatever pictures you have drawn, so if you want to send them, you can put them in the comments or put them on any of the social media. If, if you feel okay sharing your picture, I would really love to see it. And if you have any ideas of what you think we should draw next, go ahead and put something in the comments. I am open to suggestions. So, thank you for watching. Hope you had fun. Bye!